I didn't even order an investigation be done until I saw your story. No smudge here and a smudge there. This is not right the way they done this paperwork. Obviously, there was smudges. I mean, we saw them clearly. Your story showed them. I firmly believe that as a result of your story, these victims would not have been made whole. The state of Utah has finished its criminal investigation of General RV in Draper. And although investigators say they believe crimes were committed by four of the company's employees, none of them are being prosecuted. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbetz broke the story earlier this year, finding smudges on dozens of customers' paperwork. Tonight he explains why the ending to this case is bittersweet for customers. Well, this is what we found earlier this year after reviewing dozens of general RV contracts. First, numbers that the company intentionally smudged or typed on top of each other. Then, cleaned up copies sent over to the customer's banks. Plus, surprise balloon payments that customers found out they were going to be hit with 10 years later. In this case, $63,000. For another customer, we're looking at more than 83,000. And here's one more more than $105,000. We've now learned in each of these cases, the customers are being made whole, not by General RV, but by their credit unions, while the employees responsible for the smudges go unpunished. I told them, I said, I will have Adam at Fox News investigate take this story and run with it, because I am sure I'm not the only one. We first introduced you to Lisa Pueblo last April, a mother in Farmington who bought a motorhome from the General RV location in Draper in 2015. I don't know what this says because it's all been typed over. Years later, she found a $63,000 smudge on her paperwork and started donating plasma to help pay for it. Have a good day. Yeah, it's sad. It's really sad, it's, I mean, I really felt like I wasn't alone. Lisa was right. She was not the only one. This is a copy that I got. I signed it here and here and here. Over the next few months, Fox 13 reviewed dozens of contracts where General RV employees smudged the numbers to add balloon payments and cut the length of the loan in half. In this case, Roger Barnes in Midvale had a surprise payment of $83,000 due in 2025. I cannot come up with $83,000 of one lump sum. I don't think the credit union changed it. I think our general RV changed it. Anytime we find anything that we think is, you know, not right, we're going to we're going to investigate it. The smudge thing, I, you know, I, I I don't know exactly how it, I can't I don't know how that exactly happens. Um, our we get the contracts when they come in through the dealership. They come electronically to us. Credit unions across Utah say they also started looking at all general RV contracts on file. They reported dozens of discrepancies to the state, showing faulty math on the paperwork. In each case, credit unions now say they have watched the Fox 13 investigation, and they've worked with customers to refinance the balloon payments. I'm glad it really helped a lot of people, you know, because otherwise it would have been like the biggest gut kick in the world. Mountain America Credit Union agrees they probably should have caught the problem earlier. I, I think it's totally possible that, you know, we could we could miss that. I think most people aren't aren't concerned with uh, trying to double check the math, you know, like you've done. I firmly believe that as a result of your story, these victims would not have been made whole. Alan Shinney is the director of Utah's Motor Vehicle Enforcement Division. For months, he has been looking into possible criminal charges against General RV employees. There was crimes, in my opinion, committed because I clearly know the difference between a 20-year loan and a 10-year loan with a balloon payment. He I says the state's investigation revealed four General RV employees who all worked at the Draper location between 2014 and 2017 were responsible for manipulating paperwork. Did it happen? Absolutely did happen. When we initially asked the question, we were told it didn't happen, but we know it happened. According to the case file obtained by Fox 13, some of the employees blamed outdated computer software which is why they taped a piece of paper over the documents as they printed. The employees told investigators, quote, thousands of deals were done this way, but their goal was not to deceive the customer. Still, the state says it was never able to find a reasonable explanation for so many instances of incorrect math. The one person that I believe to be the one that uh, was the mastermind of that is no longer in the state of Utah. He's not here. 
I think they should go to prison. I mean, it was like everything about it was wrong. These are often difficult cases to prosecute, but that doesn't mean that we don't prosecute hard cases. We do all the time. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill tells Fox 13 his office cannot take action because the sales happened too long ago. The statute of limitations means that uh, we have a hard stop. That doesn't mean that crimes didn't happen, that there weren't victims, but our agency is precluded from acting upon it. And, and for me to make a comment on it would be unfair. In my opinion, it was a stumbling block of the investigation. The most recent cases they found were in early 2017, but in Utah, charges for communications fraud must be filed within four years. And there was never a case that came forward in the last four years? There was not. So is this a practice that they abandoned at some point? It appears to be that way. The statute of limitations are important because you want to report crimes in a timely fashion when people's experiences and memories are fresh. The state says General RV cooperated with the investigation and that none of the four employees work for General RV anymore, although some do still work in the industry. It would be amazing if their names came out and buyer beware. If names were to come out, I think those employers would be like, er, we better take a look at some paperwork. There is no question in my mind that if a, if a complainant would have came forward one year, 18 months into that loan payment and, and notice that, I believe we would have got a prosecution. I have no doubt in my mind we would have got a prosecution on that. In the future, investigators want everyone to double check their paperwork as soon as possible, including carbon copies. And they say if the state receives new complaints on a transaction that did take place within the last four years, they could resubmit the case for prosecution. When we asked General RV for comment, they did not respond. Reporting in studio tonight, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah. If you have questions about tonight's investigation, Adam will be live on Facebook in just a few minutes. He'll try to answer as many questions as possible. Just go to the Fox 13 Facebook page. And if you have a story you'd like Fox 13 News investigative team to look into, email iteam at fox13now.com or call the tip line 801-536-1314.